and let's hope it still accepts my input here. Yeah, it seems like it does. Let's get that timer going and let's go. So I am playing this game, Kalas Poofs Expressen, because uh, Podcat, the game director for Hearts of Iron 4, said, Oh, Jake, you do your hell game thing. I want you to play this. It's a game I found in a cereal packet. And I was like, okay, what are these Kalaf Poofs? And, well, it's just sugar puffs, but what the Swedes get for it. So let's do this. I have never played this game before, except for a couple of minutes where I rammed into things and broke everything. So we're this bear riding this train. Doesn't it look grand? And by pressing a button, I forget which, there we go. We can play this little bee guy. We make some strange noises. Let's plow on. Gotta be careful because we can crash this train and it handles a bit very strangely. For example, we need to pick up our cargo there, so if we control the B for a sec, we can go and flip that switch. And then... And then... Oh, there's all kinds of inertia with this thing. Wait, what? I, I'm not going up now. Okay, B, you have failed me. Ah, now we're good. So, let's go and link up with our... Well, our cargo appears to be empty, but... We're probably gonna have to fill them up with sugary puffs. I mean, to me it looks like we've got some really jellified loaves of bread with us. Oh, see? It's really kinda nice how we do... I, mean, I put the brakes on, but... We gain some speed going down like that. Don't know what the bear's relationship with the bee is. Best not pry too deeply. Let's plow on. So I don't know how long this game is. The uh, the guy assured me that it was going to take at least a bit of time. And these look like bigger... Oh, okay, I couldn't keep going there. I actually need to build up some m momentum if I want to go up that. I can do that. Ups a daisy. No, no, stop. I do not want to be hitting into this rock. I wonder if I can blow it up. Uh. Oh, ooh. Dynamite, please. Amazing. Oh, baby. This is pretty good. So we've got our, uh... Cali Puff what's -its. I need to not be going up this thing again. Get on that B. Looks like we have a timer in the top right. I don't want to run out of that. Now that looks like it's going to cause us some problems, so let's blow it up again. No, no, I guess not. Oh, okay. Well. I don't know how to get past dirt. Still don't know how to get past that. Seems a bit quieter than I want it to be, though, so I'm gonna... Smack that up a bit. If I have to listen to this, then so do you. Well, that went terribly, and we have to do it again. There must be something I was missing there, though. I mean, so we figured out the TNT. That was fine and dandy. Grab the, uh, grab the carriages. We need our payload as well, though. Jake, when you open up the help, it shows you how to throw dynamite and how to dig. Right, I should probably figure out the digging part. Seems kind of vital. Let's grab our callous poofs. Et for tria. And onwards we go. Jake, you should have paid more attention in Swedish class. All the explanations in Swedish. I don't need it. 
we can get by just fine. Ups a daisy. Gotta be careful not to rock our world here. So let's do this again. Select dynamite. Crunch. Alright, so yeah, let's work out digging whilst we're here. The bee makes some really disturbing noises. Alright, so we've got more TNT, but TNT is not the answer here. We need to dig? Is that digging? Ooh! Man, this is pretty advanced for a uh, cereal box game. Job well done, you Swedish freak. Okay, so that's all well and good, but now what do we have? We got a tree in the way. I think I know the answer to that. Cron. No? Hmm. What do I even do? Can we jump? Okay, I just ate the cargo. Pretty neat animation, I'll give you that, but what's happening now? Oh, of course. What the heck was even that? I think eating the cargo gives us some kind of bonus, I'm just not sure what. Alright, but I, I'm convinced there's something to be said for uh, eating the cargo. It's alright, it's a problem solving game. My life is all about solving problems. Well, it's all about problems. I should have put the stream title as a uh, transport tycoon. So we got the cargo that we can now eat, but The music's really cheery, and the visuals, I think, are great. Look at that train go. I just barely have the power to keep going here. Come on. Nah. Well worth trying again. This inspired a whole generation of Swedish train drivers, I'm sure. Being too shy about going for this, let's do it. Alley oop. <laughs> that tree bothers me though, there must be a way to. Uh, I'll power up further away from it. Maybe there's a jump button. and close to the mud. Get digging. Why a bear though? We're meant to be lion of the north. Okay, this tree will be no match for us when we just eat the cargo. Yeah, here I was thinking I could just blow it all up. Okay, so one of the buttons must make me jump into the air. I just gotta figure out which one very quickly. 
Don't know why I assume the logical answer here is to be able to jump. Ho oh, ho ho! Done and done right. Slow down, slow down, buddy. And he, he was he was gunning for that one. B, can you help us out? What's going on here? Okay, so we got the puffs, we just need the honey, and the bees see into that. Did that get it all done? Do I have to do it again? Alright, that must be them all honeyed up. This is how honey puffs work, you see. Need more Michael Bay fuel. I better keep in mind that there's dirt there, I may need to dig it out. Okay, so... Yeah, I've got to take the explosion route, it calls to me. Oh, I really want to get through level 1 here, so I don't have to do it again. Oh, that's not so good. Could this have been a red herring? Jake, have you used the trains in Sweden? Can you confirm that they jump? Well, we won't know that unless the driver is eating these uh, Cali Puffs. the way that timer's going, or the fact that I only have one life after this. I don't know how brutal this game gets in terms of life management. I mean, clearly it's made for little kids. Those games tend to be pretty generous with the whole life situation, or continuing from the level you were at. Never a given, though. And I'm not well versed in Amiga games, either. Shake is a wasp a good guy or a bad guy? Well, it's not an eggplant, so I assume things are alright. Oh, this better not tell me that I don't have enough explosives to get through this, because I wasted it all on the top. Why are there rocks here anyway? I also wonder how often I can use my super jump ability. Oh boy. Oh boy. We've delivered the Kalas Pufar. Packets with honey, 12 times 300 points. Okay, we got all honeyed up. Good job, us. But that was only level one. Yeah, I was in the uh, Ika store. Sure enough, they still uh, they still have this weird bear on his uh, on his train as their mascot. Okay, so we know that's where we can grab the honey puffars. Well, sans the honey. Mm. How do I throw my explosives backwards then? Is there a way to turn around coming up? <gasps> oh, that's one way to turn around. Looks awfully smug for someone that just crashed a train.
Okay, well, I'm out of lives, out of second chances, but just means we can blow through everything in one shot. I kind of want to hit the curved uh, train tracks just to see how badly things go when you do. Now, can you or can you not throw explosives backwards? Guess we're about to find out. No, no, we cannot. So there must be a way to turn around coming up. So by pressing control, I take control of the wasp or bee thing, but by holding it down I get my options. Hold on, this isn't very good at all. All I meet is the tree, and I don't have my super puffars. What's a man to do? I can't eat to jump over this either. Or can I? Okay, I can. Don't know where he's getting them, but he does it. Let's go for it. Didn't think it would let me do that if I didn't have cargo. Maybe you could have leapt the gap, Jake. Ooh, this is possible. What happens if I... No! No! Aye, aye. Not bad audio for Atari. Oh. So you run out of lives and you go right back to the start. Okay. Need to get through this and not kill ourselves. Man, this is a failure waiting to happen. <sighs> okay, just gotta tap into my inner getting good. Oh yeah, this game is Danish. This is apparently just the Swedish version of it. So I gotta take it nice and slow. No need to mess up. I don't know if it points mean prizes here or not. Though. All right, I'm going to assume that red means you go up in any given situation. So maybe if I generate enough score, I can get some extra lives. Because this would be pretty handy, given the way I'm playing. So again, red means up you go. Jake, when will be redemption of this game? We're not done yet. We've simply had a minor setback. Everything else will go according to plan. Kind of nice that you can control the be off screen, but again, it has that early game issue of you can't see very far. If you're going full pelt, rocks can appear very quickly and scupper you good. Where are we even? Because this does not look like anywhere in Scandinavia. Oh, thought I'd unset that. Let's go. I 
there's dirt in the way, you can handle it. Be a good Swede and clean after yourself. just here. Oh well, doesn't matter, because onwards we go. This place looks too fertile to be most of Sweden. Too hilly to be uh, scone at. Okay, good, good, good. Now slow the hell down, please. B, let's get on that. Well, I know he's talking about honey, that's about all I know. Okay, we decided that the top was a red herring, right? We're taking the low road. And we're also taking it nice and easy. Which is a shame because the temptation is just to go full pelt. But if I do that, I'm going to hit into something and hurt myself quite a lot. Also, I wonder what would happen if I just jumped off that bit at the top. Probably nothing good, but I still want to know. Blowing things up gives score. Alright, with this, we're home free, I believe. I would hope so, because, man, blowing up sends you right back to the start at level, and these are not short levels. And they're on a timer. Hmm. Should have gotten myself a box of these things to eat whilst playing this game. Then we could have called this social eating stream. Alright, we're good. Let's carry on. As long as I don't go full pelt right into obstacles, we should be fine. Jake, will you have a nice bowl of Kalas Pufar afterwards? Well, if there are anything like sugar puffs, I think that would be uh, a little too sweet. Man, maybe you can jump that, I just don't know. Also, do you lose if you go to the end without any puffar? Maybe the answer is just to jump there? No, but then you'd be hitting into the things at the front, and that can't be right. Maybe from here I can throw my TNT. Insufficient. No, that was not what I intended to do. Did it anyway. No, I got I got nothing. I don't know how I meant to deal with this. Bad idea, you need the power of Kalas Puffar to win the game. I need some powers to win this, clearly. Damn, how do I deal with this? Alright, honey us up. No, no, not cutting the mustard there. 
It's a shame though, because I just wasted two of my TNTs on nothing. Alright, let's uh, eat down on the cargo that we don't have. He gets full pop eye, all he needs to do is eat one of these callus puffar. What's the fourth option in the control menu? I think it's just regular train driving. I think? Maybe it is turn the train around? Wouldn't that be very handy? All right, easy does it. Yeah, I think it's just regular go. Uh huh. Now there were obstacles up here, right? Yeah, because last time I came here, I crashed into that. Unless I find a way to turn around, everyone's going hungry. And even if I do turn around, how do I take that thing down? Maybe there's mega dynamite to be found. Oh, Crivens, what, what's that even doing there? Reverse course. What a cute game, though. Whoa, 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 man, this is all about making me use my dynamite. Uh... Oh, no, 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 no. Why? Why do that? Why have the bottom part as the way to go? If I'd just gone bottom part, I wouldn't have had any of these issues. Also, no real easy way to tell background from foreground here, which I hate. I also don't know if I hadn't cleared out those rocks, would they have still hurt me? Would make no sense, but 2D games, 2D space. Once I pass that blocker, I know that I'm into uncharted territory. But this looks like the end. They're going to be very unhappy with me. Are they going to... Oh, no. Var Armin Kalas Bufar. Oh, we still clear it? So, how do you get through with the puffers. Oh well, all the kids are going hungry today. Unless it forces me to redo the level. Um... It really does. It really does. What the hell? Well, at least now we get to find out what happens when you head into that. Okay, so I still have nothing explained here. I think I will try my hand at making this jump, otherwise I got very little to work with here. Oh, it's not gonna let me... Okay, it doesn't want me to do what I want to do. What the heck do I do? 
Is this where I discover that that rock is actually part of the background? If it is, I'm going to be platinum angry. Easy does it. Are you... God. Ah. That's just not right. In what world? Oh well. Call me blind all you want, but that did not look like part of the background. Tempted to only give these people two cartloads of their delicious honey puffers. And that's all they're getting. I'm not backtracking for the last. Jake, the starting building, which was also part of the background, had an identical texture. Really? Alright, let's go magical flying train. I would have felt more inclined to check it out if uh, it hadn't let me get past this part. Okay, so now I know to not go up. I can go along and nothing but and be pretty safe. Pretty safe. Oh, uh, they still make me panic though, but no. There is no need for panic here. Have your bloody puffs. Alright, hopefully it lets me pass. If you indeed need to grab all the boxes for each level, then that's troublesome. So it should say Spell Artria, or Banner Artria. Let's get honeyed. Mm. Okay, new uncharted territory. What's going on? I need those. I would love to know if there's a way to get extra lives in this game. If anyone has that information, please divulge. Okay, so this is kind of telling me which ways I need to go when I do my inevitable backtrack, which is now, it seems. Gotta be careful, if you take control of the bee slash wasp, you then no longer have control of the train. So if it's already going backwards or forwards, then you're scuppered for slowing it down unless you quickly change back. Now I know there were Puffars back at the start, but I only need some. I'm not going for all here. Unfortunately, he's slowly learning, says Morbuk. And I get such harsh rep around here. It's unreal and unfair. It sounded like I got some kind of bonus there. Jake, the only speedrun people have linked would already have been done in a couple of minutes. Well, there's a difference between people that speedrun this game and me, in that they've probably played this game quite a bit, whereas I have never played this game. It's completely unreasonable to compare uh, blind playthroughs with speedruns. A 
Okay, I stopped and wondered if those trees were background or foreground. They look more like brown crouching people. You can see their arms and legs there. Let's investigate the lowlands first. Uh, we've come to learn that this is background, right? Right. Oh, I want to jump that, but... And for all I know, I need that Michael Bay fuel. Alright. We're armed to the teeth. We've got two thirds of all the poofers in the world. I can do this. I don't like this train track though. Like the, one of the support beams is even broken. How am I meant to have any faith in this? must actually be a pretty fun game to speedrun because you'll know what's coming. You can just blitz through it. It's my big, biggest problem. I can't go full steam ahead because I don't know if there are any rocks in the way. If this were a train simulator, which I have played and somewhat enjoyed, well, the only real problem to going full speed ahead is the problem of tipping over your carriages. No, hold on. Wasn't the honey way back at the start? I hope they don't chastise me for not honeying up their puffs. But given this is the Honey Puffar game, you probably do have to. We'll find out soon enough that this level doesn't appear to be any trouble to get through. We'll know we're near the end if we have to suddenly elevate. Suddenly elevate. Jake, they do chastise you. Mmm. Alright, well, I guess they're not really honey puffars if we don't honey them. I would like some confirmation on that, though. Must you honey up your puffs? I guess if the speedrunner is on level 3 backtrack to honey up their puffs, then it must be a necessity. Otherwise, there's no way they would. Just re ran them as Kalas Puffar Zero. Zero, uh. Zero sugar in these things. And you. No, Jake, you don't need to honey them. Christ's sake! Full steam ahead. The puffs are safe. You just don't get as much score without the honey. Do I look like I'm playing for score? Eat up, kids. Enjoy a healthy, boring breakfast. Well, this is uh, Bana 3. You may or may not know this one. Looks like we gotta do it again and this time get them all honeyed up, you bastards. <sighs> Alright, where was the... Uh, where are the goodies? I can get out and uh, shovel those though. You need to honey at least one packet. Okay, so how about I just honey up what I have here? Gonna need that TNT to blow our way through though. Oh, Krivens, the timer isn't looking all that great either. So I'm on level 3 and I'm almost 40 minutes... I am 40 minutes through my time. 
Alright, let's honey up what we have. Easy does it though. Let's uh, demolish while we're here. Now I know there's dirt in the way. Let's just back it up nice and easy. Nice and easy. Oh, it's going to take him an age and a half to go out and shovel that. <sighs> no, Podcat did not pay me money to play this. He just uh, insisted that I do. You missed a spot there, Bear. to it again. Oh, I can beat this game yet. I'm just not liking the fact that I only have two lives. If I lose those two lives, I'm back to start and yeah, I'm not liking that idea. What, you trusted your devious colleague without him giving you dosh to play it? This is not right. There's slightly more to life than Dosh. Alright. Double Hungar is going to be enough. Wasn't there honey right back here way at this? No, that was on the previous level. Oh man, I'd be done with this level if I just honeyed up at the... Oh well. There's no randomness, Jake. You'll blitz through next time, right? It's not just the randomness, it's the whole being careful. If you try and go full steam ahead, you're just going to crush yourself face first into uh, rocks, dirt, whatever those barrier things are called. Don't know why they exist. You're not really going to stop a train with one of those. Maybe they're stronger than I realize. I should ask my brother. He drives trains. Probably. Chew, bloody chew. Alright, now wasn't this the case where we found that the low way was the way to go? Do I want that TNT? Oh, well, I get some here anyway. Oh, well. Champion. SSJ4 Nuram says, man, I so loved this game when I was younger. Well, I admit I am impressed, given it's a cereal box game. This guy doesn't actually sound Swedish. He sounds stupid, so he's probably just a Dane trying to speak Swedish. Easy does it. Let's not go flying off into rocks now. These lives are very limited. I still have no information on whether or not score gets me any extra life, so I may as well stock up on these bad boys. Don't like the fact that it's just level 3 though, it probably only gets harder. Alright, that's us. Whew! So that took 5 minutes to redo. Not a good sign. <gasps> So these are just going to be like diet Kalispofar. So 
There's only uh, two thirds of them are actually honeyed up. Okay, Bana 4. It looks like we're uh, starting off from progressively nicer looking stations. Let's get all explodey. We know that our puff are down here on the bottom. Things they are all down at the bottom. So I'm likely going to have to come here. Easy up there, bear. This music though, it's pretty good. Pretty damn good. Don't want to go through the trouble of getting that. So is there a limit to how much I need to get? Because I am thinking a bare bloody minimum right now. That'll only get me more TNT, don't know if that's necessary. And I have not yet found the place to get my honey, so... I'm still thinking bare minimum. Still thinking bare minimum. One truck and one puffar and one honey is the bare minimum, Jake. Thank you! With that info, let's grab these ones right here and then make our way to the uh, honey station. Oh, ho, 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 ho. that was too close for comfort. How would you even get out of here if you had three... Uh, this isn't a trap, is it, though? Have I been tricked? Have I been tricked? I think I've been tricked. Oh, bollocks. Jake, jump backwards. Is such a thing even possible? Jake, can you decouple the trucks? Not as far as I'm aware of. If I were to jump forward, would I even be able to clear that? Don't know, but it might be the only chance I've got. Oh, it's not letting me. What, what do I even do here? I can't get up. Okay, well, I'm not going down there. That's a trap. Hmm. Tricky. I mean, maybe there was a way out of that. I just wasn't seeing it. Alright, lives are running low now. Maybe I need to go down and just get one. Hmm. If you're going for the bare minimum, Jake, you need only grab one. Yeah, I'm thinking... No, 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 let's not go crashing into... Uh into rocks here. 
I'd assumed control of the bee, so me telling my train to go backwards was having nay effect. Man, signaling. Was my enemy in uh, Train Tycoon? It's my enemy here. So yeah, since we are going for the bare minimum, I'll probably only pick up one of these. Unless somebody suddenly tells me that score gives me extra lives. This guy will do. Does give extra lives actually. Okay, I'd love a number on that. Max points give extra life. Okay, I'm gonna need something a lot more specific than this. Oh, nice, we've reached the honey. Honey, yes. no, no, please, honey, the... Ah. <sighs> Can't win them all. Can't win many of them today. Yeah, well, soon we'll be at the hour mark, and we're not even halfway through this game. Three carts full of cereal and honey. But didn't I do that on the first level? Didn't seem to get jack for that. Oh well, this is all we've got for now. Let's plow on. No, one up is how you- No, 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 no! For goodness sake. I bloody I. It was a trap. Okay, but I know everything this level has to offer now. I know everything this level has to offer now. Huh. Tape loading error, I guess. Guru meditation. Well, now we really know we're playing an Amiga game here. Hmm. Criven. Seems that my genuine Amiga has decided that working is not something that it wants to do today. I think we're going to come back and revisit the Kalas Puffs Expressen another day. Probably with a penalty. I've never had to do that with uh, two hours of hell, but I've never run something on the Amiga before. It would be unfair to reset the timer at 50, you see, I was halfway through the game. But I'll figure that out next time, probably uh, return to it uh, during the week. I'm going to be having a giveaway in about half an hour, so I'll be back for that. Until then, away I go. I don't know, take a nap for half an hour. <laughs>